What is going on, guys? This is your main man, Ben, here, and we're talk active. I work in the technology field as PC tech administrator, analyst for 10 years, at least. I like cycling, boxing, outdoorsy things. We just talk about current events, technology, sports, crypto, or sometimes by request. You're regular people with factual experiences. It would be nice if you can contribute to the universe. Let's talk about it. Since it's Tuesday, guys, I'm gonna throw up some little bit for you guys. Let's check it. Hey. Let's check it. Let's check it. Hey. Since it's Tuesday. Well, hey, hey. Episode 28. Let's check it, mate. Talk active. We'll have best behave. This is your main boy. Let's check it, mate. Hey. Whatever. <laughs> it's just Tuesday, guys. Forgive my silliness. I'm just throwing in some new things, but ugh, I just can't wait to be honest with you to do that. I'm just messing with you. But happy Tuesday, folks. It is a fabulous week because it's just amazing. You better choose to be amazed or not. It's up to you. But today, guys, we're going to talk about things that probably would um relate with the past in the present we're not going to discuss about future cuz future yeah whatever today so that's the most important but today guys we're going to we're going to before we start um episode 28 this is going to be the main gig that we got but we're remembering uh the great legend Kobe Bryant um yeah it's his first year death anniversary a couple of days back so you know mamba affected a lot of lives and respect to kobe bryant and kobe bryant's family and uh definitely definitely we remember the great kobe bryant black mamba rest in peace also we're gonna talk about uh <laughs> conor mcgregor lost man talk about the great notorious Conor McGregor got TKO by Justin Poirier. Um, I really, I really saw it. Nah, not gonna get TKO, but the way Justin is fighting, uh, he's in top of the class since Khabib left and retired. I didn't. Uh, my money was in Conor. Definitely not in Conor because uh, you know once once you tasted that, like what. Connor Achieve is phenomenal. Different, two different titles on different weight class. Top of that, he had a bout with Floyd Mayweather, that boxing match we got, and he got paid, like hefty, hefty paid. And he was, from there, his, his life changed. So he, he doesn't even need to go back to UFC and fight um, as a mixed martial artist because he, he's set for life, you know. That comfort, that hunger as a mixed martial artist, I believe, went away after that fight. And it changes Connor's life. Probably his spirit is still a mixed martial artist. But if you put him in the top tier fighters in his class, I don't think uh, it's, it's, he's going to stand a chance. Not anymore. Not against. I would say that was Justin Poirier. If I, if I put him against uh, Tony Ferguson or put him against uh, Charles Oliveira, get out there's no way and justin is in top of that class so my money wasn't justin definitely no disrespect to the great conor mcgregor but that's how it is so yep he he is out he is out now talking about mahomes versus brady super bowl guys i'm telling you the young one versus the goat the older one so super bowl is going to be held at tampa bay buccaneers Tom Brady's home court in February February 7 at 6.30 p.m. So it's a week, day off this coming week, and then Super Bowl. So it's that time of the year. Much respect to Aaron Rodgers. It looks like um, he said that there's a lot of uncertainties after they got beaten by, by uh, Tom Brady. Um, yeah, he said himself there's a lot of uncertainties in his team and it looks like uh, that's going to be probably 
who knows he probably will move out and there's a lot probably players in his arsenal that would be move out of green bay packers also josh allen at the buffalo bills much respect man that quarterback is going to be something this coming years um i would not want to iterate that because they're the ones who beat us well the ravens but definitely the ravens beat themselves because of those mishaps that we experienced but yeah just have respect to Josh Allen on what he did to that to that team so I'm not taking that away from him guys but we're gonna talk about gears real quick gears real quick um this is on the tech side if you guys want to hear a quality quality um you know audio you don't need to go like crazy on very expensive things um there is some things that you can buy to use whatever you have if you're really into quality sound no disrespect to the wi-fi thing on you know noise canceling and all that stuff studio monitor for professional use that's where it's at that's where the meat is but we're going to talk about little things like this audio amplifier see this that small this small right here 3.5 millimeter socket plug it into your phone put your monitor headphones from here and it will amplify the uh data or the frequency and basically it's a booster that way you can maximize the capacity of disc drivers in your headphones and you can probably rock on with depending on the profile of your headphones if it's bass uh, it focus bass uh headphones or is it flat or you know it it really is like a microphone headphones are not all in one there's a lot of uh profiles for them it's heavy bass is it flat is it more on you know uh uh open headphones there's a lot of qualities but just going to you know audio stuff because i like audio like what we did you want me to rap again but you want me to rap no i don't want to do that but today guys we're gonna talk about also also before i forget if you want to know our setup here in uh in our little studio you know um very very minimalistic approach because what happened was year 2020 opened up my eyes uh including moving on to this year and to be honest with you if you see that shelf back there I collect the uh, <laughs> boxes of my gadgets. So that bottom shelf is almost empty. So what I'm saying is 2020 made me realize of how, you know, how much we throw, you know, irresponsibly money and all that stuff. So I have decided since 2020 and from now to sell. So I've been selling things and let go offer up uh, when let go was still its own application facebook marketplace to make way in you know extra money and recover what i have recoup or lost so we narrowed down to uh i've i've sold a couple of dynamic mics not like this but dynamic mics and condenser mics and some gimbal i let go of that believe me yeah i did a couple of drones yes i did uh you don't need those very expensive things if your achieve or your goal is just streaming, uh, doing what we do right now, or gaming. You only need minimal stuff and you should be okay. But if you're interested in what we've been using in the studio, let me know because we'll set it up, we'll, we'll discuss it and all that stuff, man. Today, guys, we're going to go back to the nitty gritty of what we got right now. So we're going to talk about industrial revolutions what the hell are you going to talk about that ben um i think it's important industrial revolution that shape our society as humans um i know it's very broad topic but it's important because it affects us right now because we are in a different era this is a technologically advanced era than 20 30 40 50 years ago Henceforth, 100 years ago. So it's important for us because 
this is the goal of this channel to spread information because this is free this is not like 10 years ago that's so hard to spread information but this is the one that we are contributing so we're going to talk about it so what is industrial revolution this is the things that shape or historically made the earth or us as a society move forward technologically advanced or mechanical or whatever invention so we're going to discuss this real quick because right now we are in the fourth industrial revolution we are facing that and uh let's go back to the history what's the first revolution first um industrial revolution was agricultural society um it was developed meaning it is more centralized they got irrigations water supply and all that stuff in the past we don't have that like farmers in the past like in the stone age they might have it but it's industrial approach you know the creation of electricity that's the one railroad in that's the first industrial revolution those are being incorporated in human society okay second revolution was the advancement of steel production it got more industrialized because um the rise of factories making uh steel here this country will make quality steel united states versus china and all that stuff and that was the rapid standardization of that one um countries per countries developing steel mainly on the second industrial revolution second revolution also i would put it in there very important before i i forgot uh internal combustion engine cars invention of cars transportation is more efficient versus just relying on railroad you get cars internal combustion engine you know ford chevy that's changed the human society the way we transport things from food medicine uh work you know yada yada, yada. you you get the point third revolution was the rise of electronics year 1990 2000 electronics telecoms cell phones what else um of course computers here we are digital world so easy to broadcast so easy to spread news you don't have to rely on abc cnn whatever they pump in there cuz you know it it's colored it's not i'm spreading uncertainty here but it's a fact statistic shows people does not watch like a lot of tv these days versus 10 5 15 years ago that they rely on their television and whatever the media pump in there they will believe and they, that that's the information they get these days because of the internet computers this is it it is easy to sp- spread out news or information with without any other favors and all that stuff going to fourth industrial revolution guys that is now that is what we're going to talk about okay why is it important i must say this is not going to th- going to be like a easy talk because fourth industrial revolution is so big of a topic i think we're going to break this down in a on a other episode but at least we have to introduce it what's fourth industrial revolution is the introduction of artificial intelligence very important you think that it's not real i will give you some samples uh based on on the things that that we have researched based on the information could this to our friends um gave me some information it i didn't really dig into it but we have some ideas because this is not a new thing that is been pumped out or spread information to everybody you know if you've seen the great reset um and all that stuff man i don't want to be a uh, conspiracy theorist and all that stuff like what my pastor said last sunday okay i'm just going to share this to you real quick um he shared that if you're going to be a theorist it's probably cool if you uh talk about it just one night it's fun discussion but if you're going to talk about it all over again it changes you it changes your friend the conversation and it gets old and it it changes a person's perspective you know your mind it it will be affected your spiritual being uh your outlook in life it will be affected if you're not being careful about it 
bottom bottom line is uh if if that being said conspiracy and all that crap would that change anything absolutely nothing right you do your own business and let it let it simmer let it go with the flow you can't stop a flood you can't stop a river you know but uh uh be focused be focused on what is allotted to you or given to you by god basically if this is your calling focus on your calling don't focus on someone else's calling don't be focused on because you'll be distracted man i'm telling you there is no there is no uh what they call this i can focus on two things at one time nah there's no multitasking we all know that but then again that's what we learned um if you're going to be a theorist uh it will not stop anything in the past or in the future or in present jesus will uh uh jesus will still be nailed in the cross no matter what right you can't stop that it's already been done but that's the bottom line there you can't stop that given that ai is right here right now fourth industrial revolution you know the digital age the big techs integration of things internet of things iot the automation of everything it's inevitable 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 that is what Thanos said it is important because um it's going to change humanity artificial intelligence let's talk about this man it's pretty serious because if you if you stand back how how ai shaped shaping right now in the present it's crazy unprecedented look at china uh right now china is the leader of artificial intelligence hands down ai in china is crazy uh you'll be surprised if you don't see any more credit card transaction in china it's all it's all in their phone it's all they're all chipped they're all been centralized it's crazy you see how ai will focus on controlling a lot of people controlled by one entity like the chinese government controlling the population by giving them what like some kind of chip or barcode with their all their bank informations in there with all their monies in there embedded in that one they they don't even use credit cards if the government decides that you cannot cross this province right here this is your cap this is your you, you're allowed to work in this range for example 10 miles only you're not allowed to get out of 10 miles and spend your money out there if you do it will be reported to the to the hub then they will be notified guess what happens next your money would be cut off everything your resources you can't provide for your family because of that that's part of artificial intelligence and that is happening right now this is not this is not uh, a conspiracy or what if it is happening in china that is a fact so that's just one of the artificial intelligence of this fourth industrial revolution i'm not psyching you up or scaring you but it is a, f- a fact it it's happening now you, if you're familiar with elon musk it's crazy right people love him his charisma is skyrocket um he developed a chip that can be planted in the brain a really small chip in some part of the brain even he talks in uh, joe rogan's podcast i mean you're like basically an android once that brain a chip that's planted in your brain you can control things which is integrated within your profile your bank uh your email uh buying things um programming uh there's a lot of things that artificial intelligence relating to the server and going to the actual daily lives that will affect you um that could be driving buying food and groceries buying medicines for your sick loved ones or watching movies um why are we talking about this um it's because it's important it affects our lives um mm. we don't need to be scared about it but we need to be aware of what's happening because everything is automated everything is right now being put into its places to be integrated by this to communicate going down to the belt they're all one line 
They're being integrated piece by piece. And that has brought us to this topic. Why cryptocurrency or the technology of it is important. Because if you talk about big techs, um, they are the leader right now on this fourth industrial revolution. No question about that. Apple, Google, uh, Microsoft, they are the leader in that one right now. But what they cannot control is the technology of blockchain, which is cryptocurrency. They are immune on inflation. They are immune on control of this big techs or any other AI form of artificial intelligence. They are unable to control that technology. They can manipulate the price. They can manipulate the amount of, of coins or price by being them holding the biggest share versus the little people's little share, minute share. But that doesn't give them an entire control of the situation. They don't own Bitcoin. They don't own blockchain. They don't own SHA-256 or other technological platform that is being developed under that program. But let's face it, we are all here in crypto space for the profit. And on top of that, if you have a if you're not a developer or a programmer, then you're in profit. Let's plainly put that in in layman's term. But you know, that just be one of the things that this fourth industrial revolution won't be able to take away from us small people. Um, that is just my output, guys. I'm not financial advisor once again, but this is real things. And if you want to have like a little bit of insurance for your family in the future, because I know we don't discuss future, but present right now, we are going towards day by day. But if you're not aware of that, you might want to uh, you might want to be informed. Okay, okay. Um, we are going to move out and close out with crypto. So Philippines already expresses uh, the approval for crypto, given with a lot of a lot of uh, rules, laws. So central bank to license crypto trading and custody firms in the Philippines. That is big. You know, the, the central bank of the Philippines is stated that, you know, uh, financial firms uh, must now be licensed in the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. So they need to be licensed under that central bank of the Philippines. So there's, there's some... Uh, Basically, it's not it's very expensive. I think you only need to have $1 million insurance or some kind of money to be backed on it before you can make a, a or establish a exchange in the Philippines. On top of that, users under, if you're, for example, Binance, must have like at least 50,000 pesos in it, more likely $1,000 to be able to be like some kind of backed money that way it can protect from uh, money laundering and other forms of fraudulent activities under the exchange. But that is big news in the space because the, the uh, acceptance of institutions, this is just one of them. We are going to close out on our price action, guys. Price action on Bitcoin is 31483 We're seeing a little bit of a slide in the red zone, bearish movement. But uh, it's really up to you if you are if you got exit plan, entry plan, whatever. Um, we've seen this a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, it's, it's one way or the other. We're going to experience this. But enter and exit plan, it's up to you. Uh, shilling the coin Polkadot is down 9.3%, sliding at $16.46. It's a price price to enter it. It's it's really really attractive. Cardano uh, down at 786, 7.86%, still at 33 cents. In uh, this is what we have today, guys. This is what we have today. Just be vigilant. Cryptocurrency is highly volatile if you're going into the space. Do your own diligence because 
you can lose your money and just don't blame it to anybody. Blame yourself because you're the one who clicked that submit button and buy it. So you better have that exit plan. But once again, guys, this probably it for this week on our episode 28. And uh, yes, I appreciate you guys watching and sticking around, man. Always remember, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And by the way, don't forget to hit that. Check out our new channel for a gaming rig. No Dula Si No No Gaming in my Facebook account where we play CS, Go, uh, StarCraft, whatever under the line. But it's a fun channel that we interact. Hopefully, we can build some more fun times because of this pandemic. It changes a lot. But I appreciate you guys for liking that channel as well, man. Always remember, God is good all the time. This is your main boy. Peace out.